Good morning ladies and gentlemen. I just want to go through a simple install of a Delta shower faucet. Um, this is the rough end and then it has a diverter on it which gives you the opportunity of feeding the shower head or you can add and then also there's a handheld shower which is separate and I prefer that to having a one where you, you do it up here. It just, it just gets weak I just think it looks crappy. So the basics anatomy of, of how to do this is um, so when you look at your rough end there's an upside up here and up over there so those just that's where your water goes out and then this is where your water comes in. I just like the pecs from a color coordinated point of view that remember the diameter is a slightly thinner internal to the copper so but they have invented new pecs which is the same th um, same thickness so it's kind of not restrictive and then over here on this roughing this roughing comes with what they call stops see where my finger is over there so these are out means open so you screw these all the way in you can do it by hand if you want just don't over tighten them um, remember before you you put this in these these come loose so you have to install them so that's a little helpful tip and then some people ask me well how many times do you um, wrap this tape this PTF tape around the, the threads this is a male I mean it's a female thread that goes into a male uh, some plumbers are saying four three to four whatever I don't know I just kind of like do six eight just because I'm neurotic I guess and then what I do is I put some pipe, pipe glue uh, PDF the liquid thread in the female thread side now the challenge when you put the thread to, uh, some people are going to tell you is that it's um, when you run it it dislodges and it um, jams the shower head so make sure you flush the system out before you put it on there so this is it so hot it's always good to brace your pipes and one of the reasons for that you hear that you can get water hammer so it's more on the copper this is it so we'll put another one in there later on before I button up how far do you put um, this uh, delta faucet in here I know we just do it one and a half, I just take a stud, put a flush against the back of the drywall and then I mount the sauce. and that's been working well for me, I've done at least at least 20 of these this way and it seems to have worked and then the same with the, with the diverter, I do the same and uh, it seems to work well one of the tricks that you've got to do is there's no, they recommend this center 48 of the shower what I do is, I've dropped this a little lower and then take your trim piece or if you don't have a trim get the specs make sure the distance between this and this valve is good so you don't want the trim pieces like really on top of each other you want a bit of space it kind of looks it looks more presentable doesn't look congested you want a nice space between the two right and then how do you line this up you, you, you you're gonna look at your, your your shower drain is I've already measured that so this is where, where we're gonna go here with the sister some joists just do modification oh by the way we're doing a walk-in shower just for fun for those that are watching put a shower tray in yeah it's going to be beautiful no shower curb so it's just much much more professionally looking a little more work a little more work but it looks good so you notice this is the blank cap it's for the rough end see, see how I turn this vertically like that turn it vertically and then I turn this vertically now, I've measured my pencil what I do is I run a laser on my tripod over there and then I line this the this one with this one and then with that I've a little snub, snub over here you can see that the pencil and then I just screw it in I like my laser level it's just it's just so convenient all right so then then you've got that sense it's just gonna look good all right you can be a quarter inch off if you want it's not gonna be a big deal but aesthetically if it's off it looks sad then what we do is now we wanted to decide okay we want to go we want to go here so what we did was we just put a 90 and 90 we went through there I like my nail plates eh? it just just helps prevent if you're going to stub it nail plate should be the other side but uh, we didn't have, we'll squeeze one in I think and then you just do a 90 also now this stud for, for information you see the stud here it's not going all the way to the back of the wall what I like to do is I just measure the depth of this um, elbow 
so it's behind the, the, it's, up, it's level with the drywall there I mean level with the stud and then then the drywall is going to come over here and then um, you can just put your shine if it's too far your pipe that detaches shine it goes too far back some people make it closer stick it out so I hope that's helpful so what I did is I did a leak test before you button up folks don't assume that your plumbing is beautiful and it's not going to leak especially if you're doing it for yourself for the first time just um, just do a leak test once the leak test is done then you know it's all good because if it's going to leak it's going to leak right and you'll see the water will just, just, will just put out so I've been doing this for a while um, when you do PEX these crimping tools it comes with a little gauge where you can measure to, to see and then the gauge if it doesn't close the gauge you know you need to crimp it so I just make sure that I crimp that um, with the crimping tool and while we're about it let me just go show you what the crimping tool looks like so that um, for those of you that are going to be doing it for your first time there you go there's the crimping tool okay so what happens is see how it opens up pulls back and then that's designed to cr crimp exactly and then it goes there and then it crimps so it crimps it goes over the pipe like that let me just show you there see there there you go that's how it goes and you just crimp it like that so that's what you do I like this particular one there's def there's many different ones on the market so we've checked our leak test got our nail plates in stock in position everything looks good so um, we're ready to button this puppy up I'm happy with the leak test I like the red the red means hot green, blue water then you can have white pipe if you really want to do that would just be the neutral and then just put it in here I didn't have it I'm not gonna buy more I'll just buy a roll so I just use the blue but it's up to you <laughs> blue it's up to you hope that's helpful and then this is just the curdy board we're using and I'll probably do a little video on what I've done with that oh by the way on my shower handheld shower here I just put a piece of lumber in here to four by six a two by six in here just so I've got some wood to screw that into then I have to worry about getting pulled off it's not gonna be a problem but I just like to work that way just do it right and then you just put a two by four behind there so, so some people say how are you gonna mount this because you can't get in there I suggest you just put a two by four see this two by four boom boom put one over there screw it in okay you can toe nail it See how you're going at an angle, boom, boom. And then once that's in, you just screw this on, make it flush. And it's all good. Have a good day.